Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Simon here with another episode of Young Justice for you. Um, moving on from the last episode where we had a bit of a problem with the memory. Um, yes, we were introduced to a villain called Simon, um, who had this big brain um, and was able to wipe people's memories. We saw that he managed to get pretty much the entire Young Justice uh, squad wipe their memory, which caused them to be wandering around a desert. Um, Superboy presumably was just aggressive because he doesn't know who he is or what's going on. Um, didn't recognize any of his, you know, sort of teammates. Um, and, you know, likewise, everyone else had this sort of six-month memory gap, which uh, only thanks to Megan were they able to get their memories back. Uh, they were able to defeat Simon through the power of teamwork. And, um, you know, again, we saw the the Council of the Light at the end of the episode proclaiming that another defeat was actually a victory, um, which, again... I, I don't know how so many defeats can be turned into victories. You know, it's it's weird. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen in this episode. It's the 10th episode, uh, about halfway through the season. So uh, let's jump into it and see what happens. Reporting from Taipei, where the historic peace summit between South Malaysia and North Malaysia has completely... They are not countries. Down. As a last resort, Prime Minister Tseng of South Malaysia and North Malaysia's General Sing Man Lee have agreed to bring in an I see what you're doing. <clears throat> Who is it? North and South Korea has run from the Secretary General of the United Nations. So anyone five foot six, he is gonna be convinced is an assassin. So does he think that the Cheshire Cat is gonna try and assassinate the arbitrator? Is the arbitrator a decoy? Oh, yep, yeah, there. You. Not exactly subtle. Oh, nice. <laughs> but that is going to break down the talks now. Whoa. Oh, she broke for it. But she's been captured now. Bruce Wayne. What? You're a bad guy, aren't you? Still a kid, you know. So happens at this time, I'm on the side of the angels. But what is Luther up to? Such is the method of great. The uh, the two heads of the countries are acting like children. Tensions are running high, and troops are massing on the border between the two countries. Which does beg the question, who hired the lead? <coughs> with the target? Or was your death just a convenient way to sabotage the summit? Yep, Allow me pretty to much. You to find out. Oh, he's now going to work with Lex Luthor? I'm not here to make a buck. Jealous? <laughs> oh god, yeah, the ball. All right, all right. Ready for school? I made her look. School? The first day of the scholastic season carries great Kent. Oh, in memory of Dr. Fate, the late Kent Nelson. <sighs> of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sure. Definitely not related to uh, Clark Kent. Well, Connor Kent. <laughs> Connor Kent, really? You, don't want to reveal your identity. you couldn't be any more of a ripoff. Don't tell me he's going to put glasses on next. Where's uh oh. When you really need him? I don't. Stay back. Sure don't. Yeah. <laughs> well, could see that coming. Come on, you must have an arrow to bring that down. You know, something. An explosive arrow, blow them up. An EMP arrow, short circuit the systems. Oh, it's a tracking device. Okay. Makes sense. Ah, that's Ra's al Ghul. Makes sense, League of Shadows. Aha. Perfect. Yep, you've been found. Well, there goes your uh, your bow. More like broken arrow. Ha! That was funny. 
Flash, Green Lantern. Yeah, okay. Shirts Everyone's just wearing Everyone's shirt superhero shirts. Fine. Someone's fine. Possibly being over my head. Uh, yes, you are. Finally, he can admit it. He so badly wants the to be independent, but he's just so dead. out of his depth. Doesn't every league? It's not just oh, he contacted. Sportsmaster and Rachel Gould himself. <sighs> I can't say I'm surprised. Who can tell me more about Relasia? It's not a real country. <gasps> well, uh, Mr. It's a country that's filling in for Korea. Modern Relasia was created in 1855 and ruled by the Bokun Dynasty until it was divided by the Great Powers into North and South Relasia after World War II. I wonder why they chose not to just call it Korea. But why are they fighting? Uh oh. That is far enough, Cheshire. Huh? Yeah. Wasn't really a, you know, clever disguise. But the bomb may have done the trick. I mean, secure. Where the hell is security on this thing? You know. Oh, he protected them with a water barrier. <clears throat> There's no way she escaped that. How in the hell did she stop herself from being blown up? No, you don't survive bombs like that. You should be in bits. You would think so. You called one of your little sidekick friends. But didn't you tell me they weren't in your league? Ow. Oh. Distraction. See, now why is Aqualad here and none of the other of the Young Justice League are? Like, why, why is it like, oh yeah, you guys can go to school whilst Aqualad does all the work? Hey, Megan, you're you know? Up. Wait, initiation ritual? Yes. <laughs> Hello, Megan. I like how her hair makes an M. Um, I, I did, right? Or Bialya. How did you, let's just say, I have an inside He's been watching. Very oh. Inside. You know, that's really giving away that there's a traitor in the group. Aqualad, let's end this. Okay. Is that like a, an eel? A massive eel? With a freaky face. Oh, she's a robot! Oh, okay. That's handy. Gives new meaning to the arms race, doesn't she? Oh. Or has she just got a... We owe you our lives. <laughs> We're impressed by your weaponry. We will have peace now. Our plan to ensure the eventual reunification of Relasia under LexCorp's political and economic guidance uh, is a success. So yes, and thus they're working board. together. Of course. Seize the light. <clears throat> Okie dokie. So yes, of course, the bad guy is working with the other bad guy. You know, there's not really too much complicated logic there. Um, this is a bit of a, an unusual episode in that... Um, I mean, I, I I don't understand why they need the the to feel like they have to replace Korea with Malaysia. It's like people know that you're talking about Korea. It's like you don't need to make it a fictional place. I guess you know you've got every other country in the world is pretty much the same, but you've made Korea into Malaysia. It's like okay, weird. Um, I also found it weird how Megan and Superboy are having to go to school. It's like you know Megan comes from a different planet. And, you know, I don't see the point in sending her to an American school where she would have so much to catch up on if that's what they... If they just wanted her to get an education. For one, she already seems pretty well educated. Um, two, it seems like she would have a lot to catch up on, um, just in terms of, like, basic stuff, if she wasn't already well educated. Um, and Superboy just doesn't seem like the right fit for a school. It's like, what happens if there's an emergency in the middle of the day? Do they just up and leave school how do they explain that um unless they're undercover and they're doing something that you know we're not sure about i'm also not sure why the villains constantly have to tell people that they have a mole it's like you have a mole keep it secret otherwise they're just going to start investigating now it's like that makes no sense logically to to tell 
the, the good guys that they've got a traitor. You know, you're just tipping them off. It's, it doesn't make sense. It's like, shut up, stupid. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, again, it was a case of this whole thing. It was kind of like, oh, attempted assassinations. Uh, attempted assassinations, you know, Red Arrow and Aqualad are dealing with it. But it's like, when Red Arrow called the, the cave, why did only Aqualad go? Where, where's, where's Kid Flash? Where's Robin? Why aren't Superboy and Megan being called in? You know, it's like, I don't, I don't quite get it. It's like, it was an okay episode, but the logic just kind of just seemed to go over my head. You know, I don't know whether this is a bigger part of a, like a scheme or a plan, but it just seemed very unnecessary. And just, it just seems like a way just to put them in situations where they can develop socially. Um, and they, they couldn't think of how to do that without being like, oh, you'll go to school. You'll go to school and you can interact with like bullies and whatnot. Um, it's just weird. So yeah, I guess that's my review of this episode. Again, I don't want to talk too much because my throat is still a little bit rough. Um, getting better, just still a bit rough. So anyway, we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you for the next episode.